All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So today we take a look at the TCL 20S. Now this device uh, is that middle ground uh, that they release, uh, and it's 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 the one that is it's so it's good enough to where you don't have to spend the price for the higher version, and it's definitely a great purchase compared compared to spending just a little bit more from the one that might be considered under it. So I'm talking about the TCL 20 of uh, 5G, the Pro version, and then we're talking about the TCL 20 SE. Now, I've touched bases on both of those devices, and I saved this one for last because it, it's probably the best purchase of them all. And I know that TCL will want to you to buy the Pro version because the Pro version, I believe, is going to work on all carriers. This is a Pro version. I got it inside the case. Um, the Pro version is going to work on all carriers after an update. I'll have to double check on this, meaning Verizon, basically. Uh, and CDM carriers, but I'll have to double check to see if this one will work on there as well. Uh, but where it is in a couple of weeks, they'll get an update. And this phone actually got a, a software patch update since I've had it. Uh, the other two have not. Uh, so um, this one is that middle ground, man. It is just fast enough, good enough, a, a good amount of RAM. Uh, the processor works well with it. Uh, it's got a beautiful screen. The TCL, uh, the 20SE has a 720p display, but it's a lot bigger than this. Uh, and so it's, it's got great battery. It's, you know, it's, it's all these things. Um, but this one has the same size battery, the 5,000 mAh battery. It's smaller in footprint, so it'll be easier to handle. Uh, and it's got a lot of the specs from the, the Pro model. Ironically enough, you know, it's got a lot of the it's closer in match uh, for function and features to the pro model, but it costs just a little bit more than the SE. And so I say that because this has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 inside, uh, and it is it is fast. I mean, it's fast. It's coupled with four gigs of RAM, uh, and uh, the that combination with their software seems to be great. Uh, and this is actually a better comparison to the OnePlus Nord N200 than the SE. Uh, there, there's just a lot more that these two could battle it out with a lot better. So it has a 6.67 inch, basically a 6.7 inch full HD plus display. Uh, and th that's just a huge in, in its own right because this phone, folks, costs $249. That's a huge win. You can put a terabyte SD card in here if you wanted to. You could. So you got a quad camera set up on the back uh, with a super wide angle, eight megapixel. And the main shooter is a high resolution 64 megapixel camera. Uh, and then they put those two little megapixel, two small ones for macro in depth. Why they do that, you know, I guess, I don't know, to fill a spot, I don't know. Uh, but an ultra wide and a telephoto and a standard wide would be great for me. Uh, but that's just what I think. And then the front has that 16 megapixel shooter on there. You've got fast charging with a 5,000 uh, milliamp hour battery. And then another thing is it's got a fingerprint reader on the side right here. So this is uh, a huge plus, and that is a fast fingerprint reader. This is something that, you know, we need to get used to coming up, sounds like. Now, TCL prides themselves on their display. And if we look here at a video I shot, um, it's just fantastic, man. It is so beautiful. And we'll listen to the stereo speakers in this thing now. to another video shaman j so i got the surface duo out and i decided to do the video a little different and that's just uh really good footage uh it's hard to show you something over video sometimes you just need to hold it in your hand so you know this this screen is just fantastic this is a screen that really dominates in this price range uh, and it has nothing to do with really just the uh, company itself. I, I just think that this display, because they're known for display greatness, 
but this display is just a good display. It has nothing to do with the TCL branding. If this was on another brand, I would be saying the same thing. I mean, it's just a fantastic display. And again, when I compare it next to other displays, um, it punches way above its weight class. And for 250 bucks, it's hard to ignore a phone like this. It is. So the while the display is just gorgeous, the hardware is even better. I mean, um, overall, the the hardware this this design compared to the other designs is completely different. So the TCL, uh, the 20 Pro and the 20 SE, uh, they have a, a different design. They have this design here, and the the SE is somewhere around here. But pretty much it has the same design, but it's not frost and it's mirror on the entire thing. But this is the design that they're rolling with for the pro model uh but then you know when i think about it man this is actually a, a great looking design it looks like a really strong frosted glass it, yeah that's what it looks like man the hardware on here and the build quality is absolutely great i mean it's it's just really great now the one thing i don't like about it is it doesn't have the metal size it's plastic around here and it's grippy and it's not grippy and it's shiny uh, and finding an accessory for this other than the one that comes in the box might be an issue for some people But eventually companies will bring out cases I think 2d is probably going to be the only one that makes a case for this that we actually like more than likely uh, But this design and this hardware is just great and this is <clears throat> Excuse me. This is uh, Good hardware at its best for $249 man. You just can't get around how beautiful this looks and I think when you start to measure it against phones that cost a lot more and you look at their hardware, some of them just have a shiny back uh, that's going to attract a bunch of fingerprints. And then when you think about that, with this case, you, this phone, you really don't even need a, a, a case. It's something to think about. It's something to think about. Now, I'm using this on uh, Google Fi. I'm using this on Google Fi. Uh, and... Um, it's it's good man. I mean it, it gets good speeds the LT speeds are good uh, I haven't had any problems you can see it's Google Fi up there I haven't had any problems with Google I I, I just don't have problems with Google Fi to begin with uh, speeds are, are great on here um, the network calls and everything are good uh, I really should try visible because uh, I know a lot of you guys have visible or you have Verizon and you want to know but again that I think that update I know that update is coming to the pro model, but I don't know if it's coming to the uh, 20s model I would hope for it would go to all models because These phones compete directly with Motorola uh, And now, you know, they're competing with OnePlus based on the Nord line uh, and this phone Appears to be a little bit better than the Nord. It, it, it runs a little bit obviously it runs better than the Nord, Nord because of the processor uh, the Nord has become a little sluggish. I'll follow up on that in, a, in another video. But this phone is a better uh, comparison to the Nord, and it costs just a, about ten dollars more, depending if you buy it from OnePlus, uh, and thirty dollars more if you buy it from T-Mobile. So, um, you know, software-wise, you talk about processor and you talk about um, you know the specs on here. Uh, running over visible, it's fast, man. I mean, it's it's no problems whatsoever for your regular social media things. It's it's really good. So I don't know that you'll find too many phones uh, that are, you can get a previous year's flagship, if you will, uh, but I don't think you'll find too many phones out there in the price range that can offer a, a, a good amount of product for you for 250 bucks. This area right here is where you win. You don't win when you buy the higher priced devices. Uh, like the value to customer ratio is like 99% on these things, 95, okay? Uh, because you sacrifice a little bit of performance and speed with that other 5%, but you ask yourself, is it really worth it? You know, is it really worth spending an additional five to $800 just to open an app a second faster, a millisecond faster? Is it really worth five to eight hundred dollars to have cameras that are, you know, just gonna be posting things on social media and ever occasionally taking video of family? 
Probably not. So value to ratio for customers is with, with the phones that cost uh, two, 300 or less in most situations. Uh, close on, closing out with cameras, I mean, the cameras on here perform exactly like you thought they would. Uh, it, it's just, it's, it's fantastic, man. For the price, you, you, I cannot ignore the price. That's why I have to keep referencing that because these cameras, again, give you quality as a consumer uh, that you're, you're, you don't get that value ratio when you spend those, uh, those, those higher prices. And so I've been shuffling between these three phones uh, since I had them and I'm just surprised that I'm leaning more towards this one because the pro model it feels so premium and it feels so good but I'm all about telling you the truth and and giving you um, something that's going to give you value to your pocket to where you don't have to um, come out of pocket a lot and still get a lot and you know fortunately uh, TCL has a suite of devices uh, that can offer you a lot and this is this is probably their best purchase of them all uh, and 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 again I know that you know a lot of you guys probably will want me to say that the um, $189 model is the one that you should get but do you see how fast that finger reader is um, I just don't think that it's the best purchase of them all you know I think that this middle ground version right here is the best purchase of all three of those devices you get the speediness you do get a 1080p display you get a lot of the functions or, or specs from the pro model and again the pro model doesn't have stereo speakers it has a loud speaker on the bottom which is good but this has stereo speakers you know it has the headphone jack. They all have the headphone jack, but you lose the, the IR blaster from the Pro Model. The Pro Model has that IR blaster, but, you know, some would argue I don't want to pay $150 more for an IR blaster. Now, you get a bigger battery in this version right here. Um, you, the cameras are just as good. You know, there's a lot to love about this model right here. So, I think if you're in the on the fence about which TCL device you should probably pick up of the three right now, uh, in July 2021 uh, this one works great on Phi um, it works you know what let me just get my visible SIM card oh, it just grabs service and you have full service with visible so there you have it it actually does have service for visible right now which is the Verizon network. And I am happy to report that this is a go. That makes it even more a sweet deal uh, for those out there who were looking to get into the TCL line. Um, let me just do something like make a quick phone call or something. Um, it's ringing. There you go. I don't know if you can kind of hear it in the distance. Let me bring it closer. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Both good to go. Well, there you have it, man. It actually works on um, Visible Wireless. Uh, it, I'm just going to leave my Visible Wireless SIM card in here. As you can see, it says Visible up there. Um, you know, it. this is a matter of good value to customer. Uh, the consumer is getting a lot of value with this device, man. And I mean, I just really hope that you guys take into consideration what I'm saying. I know some people really believe that I should be promoting this pro version. And I'm not saying the company. I'm saying like people who have watched, they love the pro model. But in reality, folks, this is probably going to be your win. $250 and you're all in. You can use it on visible. I just I didn't do any setup. I just popped my visible SIM card in there prop my Fi card in there. It's, you know, I've used it on at and I've used it on T-Mobile. I've used it on them all. So I think this is a win, man. You really should consider now um, grabbing uh, the uh, S model. It's got a lot going on with it, man. The 6.7 inch display, basically, 1080p. You got good cameras. You got great battery. I didn't touch much on battery, but this phone has fantastic battery. That's what you need to know. At 5,000 milliamps, it is a win-win.
It really is. Comes in two colors, North Star Blue, and this is the Milky Way Gray. Uh, I personally like the, the Milky Way Gray. Um, you know, personal preference, man. You could go with any model you want. Um, it's, it's up to you. I just feel like you probably should make a choice uh, quickly because I think once once word gets out that phones work on Visible, uh, they start to get people start to buy them because Visible is Verizon's network, so um, you're going to get some some really consistent speeds and consistent um, performance on their network. So just bear that in mind, man. This is the TCL um, 20s, and it is great, man. It is fantastic so far. So, Shaman J, this is the one that I'm going to probably roll with. Uh, you know, if I go out and I need to make sure I have service, you know, that other phone in the car, when I'm driving through those areas that don't have good service, um, I'm going to have the, the TCL 20 Pro or the TCL 20S um, in, in my pocket for, for service in those areas because I travel a lot. And there's an area that I cut through where there's about a 30 to 45 minute stretch with no service for AT&T or T-Mobile. Uh, and it has service for Verizon, though. So... This is a huge plus. I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the follow-up. The 20S from TCL, folks. I think you better jump on this one.